What's going on? Happy New Year, everyone. Today, I'm going to give you five tips to not only get fit, but to stay fit in 2021. So just know that being fit and healthy goes so far beyond just your aesthetics, how you look, you know, the visuals. You want to make sure you're feeling your best, performing your best, and you truly are your healthiest. So these five tips are going to help with that. Let's jump right into it. Number one tip is just have 30 minutes of movement as a non-negotiable in your day. This is one of the hacks I started doing. I used to be someone who would crush the gym five days a week, give it my all, but then two days I'd be nothing. I'd be laying on the couch saying it's my rest day, too scared to move a muscle. Being active every day is not a bad thing. You obviously do want to take those rest days and you don't want to necessarily destroy yourself, but take some time to stretch, to go outside for a walk, to do some yoga. As long as we're active every day and we can say, you know, we've gotten out, we've been active, we know we're taking care of our bodies and our health and we're really making meaningful steps to advance forward in our fitness. Number two is to stop dieting. Dieting is probably the thing that's messing you up. All these nutritional fads, short-term solutions, meal plans, they will get you in decent shape in the here and now, but you're not gonna have continued success. That's why my goal with my eating style of straightforward nutrition for all my coaching clients is to really teach you how to eat not for now, but for the rest of your life. Establish good core nutritional patterns that are gonna benefit you no matter where you are, whether you're at home in a great situation, whether you're at vacation or at your sister's wedding, these are the fundamentals that will have you, allow you to have continued success. Things like getting in more water, eating a high protein diet, logging your food and hitting a calorie goal. By monitoring these things and making them something you constantly do this whole year, you will see incredible physique change because of it. And number three tip is to implement some sort of strength training or resistance training uh, routine at least three times per week. Now, a lot of people overlook this because movement is great, nutrition is great, but at the same time, you wanna make sure that you're building or at least maintaining muscle mass. This is gonna allow you to eat more calories, help with your metabolism, and help you overall just look significantly better. There's nothing worse than a lot of people who lose a ton of weight and a lot of its muscle. So some sort of resistance training, and I know it's tough because sometimes you may be at home, you may not have a lot of stuff. It's time to get creative, right? You can use bands, you can do body weight stuff. You have to find different ways to basically get that load and that intensity and that volume up, which is what we've been helping so many clients with this past year. If you want help, of course we can take care of you. And past that, even for strength training, making sure you're finding ways to work on weak points, because a lot of times people are missing that out. You need to make sure you're working on your rear delts for posture, your glutes, every specific thing. It all has to be created equally. Uh, you know, a lot of pull work, all that stuff. There's a lot that goes into it, but strength training will help you a ton. So now that you're at this step, you've got your movement down, you're focusing on making better eating decisions, and you've started doing some sort of strength training, whatever it is. Recovery is gonna be huge, and this is something that I used to overlook a ton. I used to just absolutely destroy everything and never focus on recovery. So this is gonna be one of the things that's gonna help. It's gonna be a building block to helping you put on muscle, stay and feel good, because I find a lot of times even if you look good and you have a six pack, you may not feel good, you may not perform good, and there's a lot that goes into this. It's not just about you know being 6% body fat. That's not really fit, and some people may think it is, but that's not what fitness is all about. Okay, so making sure that you're prioritizing recovery through stuff like sleep, I'm sure you hear it all the time, just making sure you're getting efficient quality sleep, making sure you're doing consistent mobility, five to 10 minutes per day, everything that's gonna help with the recovery, also even a ton of water, all that good stuff, it will really help. And last but not least, reach out for help. So in that last video where we're talking to you about how to build that mindset and do all that stuff, we said have a community. Now I wanted to go one further and actually get you to hire someone to hold you accountable and just to have that support. It doesn't have to be for the next two years, but even if you hire someone like myself for 90 days to help you shape up and just lose that body fat effortlessly and build those habits and have the community and do the weekly check-ins, I guarantee you, you're gonna stop spinning your wheels. I find sometimes people say, oh, I'm gonna do this on my own, and then two years later, they're still in that same spot, whereas anybody who comes to myself or Josh for coaching, it's just so much quicker, and you're gonna actually keep that weight off, because you know studies have said, you can lose weight, but a lot of people end up putting it back on, and that's what you don't want. You don't want fat diet, you don't want a crash diet, and basically with our straightforward nutrition, our have it all coaching, as well as our hypervantage training, which is our training regimen created for you, we're able to get you incredible results, and we want you to be our next success story. So basically click that first link in the description to apply. If you're looking to lose 50 to 20 pounds of fat, even more, we will accept your offer if you're the right candidate for a coaching program. So hey, thank you so much. Get that accountability, listen to all these steps, watch it over again, watch that last video. Hit that like button, we appreciate you all, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.